Carnival Cruise sent me a cancellation letter. Well, that's nice of them. At least they recognize it. I canceled last night. And penalty, $100. I can handle that. But it says in the letter, uh, you can use this $100 applied to a next cruise within 12 months. So if I get on another cruise, I can apply that $100. That's nice. This is also a less than $50. <laughs> Where is that at? $50 servicing. I don't know. Whatever it is. Anyways, I won't be taking another cruise until they stop this COVID testing garbage. I don't get tested when I go to a casino. I don't get tested when I get on an airplane to go uh, to Las Vegas or Atlantic City. Nobody tests me. But they want to test me to get on a ship. I don't want it. And I don't I don't want it because uh, I don't want to do the testing. I don't want to go through that. And I don't even know, like I said before, what are they going to do? Test me when I get off the ship to go into port? Test me when I get back on? And then uh, say, oh no, sorry, Cordy Typo, you got uh, COVID. You can't board the ship. Well, what do I do now? Well, I don't know. You, I guess you, you, you make some kind of arrangements to fly back. Are you going to help me? No, we don't help you with that. Okay, so you kicked me off the ship because I tested positive. I feel good, but I tested positive. Now I go to the airlines to get a plane uh, back to South Florida. Airline in the Bahamas says, no, you tested positive. We don't want you on this plane. Well, how do I get back? You have to get an air ambulance to go back. Well, how much is an air ambulance? Oh, well, it's roughly around $20,000 for air ambulance. So for a lousy cruise, I might be subject to a $20,000 air ambulance to get back. Now, drop all the testing and I will cruise again.